So you've just purchased the Mango Studios GE CF6 engine mod for the Flat Factor 767 and now you want to install it. Well, luckily for you, Mango Studios provides a fantastic uh, instruction as a PDF and also this installation video. So let's get right into it. All right, well, first things first, you of course want to download the uh, engine mod. Um, as you can see here, we have Mango Studios GE CF6767 and there is this uh, liveries as a separate folder as well. So once you have these, you want to unzip them. So you can do that by right clicking and clicking extract. Uh, as you can see, I've already done that, but you want to make sure that you unzip the folders. Next, you can open it. Go into here, and the first thing that we're interested in is, of course, there is the instructions of PDF if you do want to take a look at that. Uh, but here is the main mod. As you can see, you've got an objects folder 767 and then the actual, you know, engine mod. Go back to main mod, and so you can see this objects folder here. And then we want to navigate to in our X Plane 12 folder, aircraft, and you want to go to flight factor 767 and then just in this main 767 folder. And you want to copy and paste or drag and drop this objects folder into here, okay? Now, if you have, um, it will ask you to replace, so you do want to click replace the files in destination. And there we are, okay? So now we have the objects 767 and we have GECF6 here. As you can see, that is the engine mod and all the, uh, objects and PNG textures, etc. Now, if you have the Mango Studios PW4000 mod as well, uh, another fantastic mod, um, then you do need to install this compatibility uh, objects. So if you go to objects um, and you can just drag this objects folder into the root 767 folder here. So you just drag and drop this objects folder just like that, click replace. And that's it. So only do that if you have the Mango Studios PW4000 mod. Okay. Now we need to open Plane Maker and adjust some stuff in there. So go back to your X Plane 12 root folder. Uh, and then you want to open up Plane Maker, which is here, planemaker.exe. So open that up. All right. So once you're in Plane Maker, you may see uh, a plane you edited before. Uh, if you have done, if your first time, then you might not. Um, doesn't really matter what you see here. But what you do want to do is go to File, Open, and then you want to go uh, and navigate to your x 12 folder. It should open here already. Go to Aircraft, and then your Flight Factor 767. So mine's in Flight Factor, and then 767 Global Plus. Now. These edits we're about to do in Plane Maker, we need to do for each variant of the 767. So, uh, these ACF files, as you can see here, are the aircraft folders, and that's what we're interested in today. Now, depending which package of the 767 you bought, you will have different uh, variants of the 767. I have the global package, uh, which means I've got all of them, and that includes the 200 ER, the 200 SF, so the shorter freighter, the 300 ER, the freighter, which is the normal, you know, freighter, and the 400 ER. And this engine mod is compatible with all of them. So we're going to have to do this for all of them. Okay. Now, when you're looking for your ACF, as you can see, I have 767-200ER, X-Plane 11 ACF, and X-Plane 12 ACF. You want to make sure you open the correct one. This, of course, depends which simulator you're planning to fly the aircraft on. Um, the install method is the same for both. Uh, since I'm using X-Plane 12, I will open the X-Plane 12 ACF. So initially, we'll start with the 767-200ER. So we'll open that. Give it a second. You can ignore this. Click Understood. All right, and here we are in Plane Maker. Now, the initial install is exactly the same for all the variants. Um, just the coordinates we add for the engines are going to be different based on the variant. But for now, we're going to go here. Now, this you can do for all the variants. Okay, so I'm only going to show it once, but then you'll have to go through yourself and do it for all the variants. Okay, so first of all, 
as you can see here, we have some GE engines here, and we do want to delete them. And anything you see with GE engines, you want to remove. Now, because I had the Carter engine mod uh, for the GE installed before, I already have my uh, GE engines deleted, but you do want to make sure you delete your default GE engines. And of course, if you have the Carter mod, you will need to remove that um, as the Mango Studios will replace that. So you just want to go and find your GE engines and click clear here and just delete those. Otherwise, we're going to have two sets of engines and you're going to get uh, issues and you'll be able to see two engines and it won't look very good. So now we want to click add three times down here. So one, two, three. And as you can see, we have some blank uh, boxes here. Now we want to do is add the object file into these. So to do that, it's very simple. Click the gray box here and it's going to open your 767 folder. Okay. You want to, from here, navigate to objects, 767, and then GECF6. And first you want to open the CF6.obj. Okay. Make sure it's the OBJ file. Um, and it's not anything else. It's not the PMG or the NML. It is the CF6.obj. So open that. Give it a second and it will appear there. Now we want to do the exact same thing. So back to objects 767 GE CF6 and we want to do misc.obj. Okay. And finally, we need to do uh, go back. Objects 767 GECF6 and the n1.obj, and we'll add that in as well. Just like that. So, that process is the same for all the variants. Um, so, you do need to do this for every single variant, okay, in the ACF. Now, you want to set your shadow mode to all views for all of them, okay. And you want to add this data ref into the hide it data ref. So I'll link this, uh, I'll put this in the description. You can copy and paste it. Uh, it is in the manual as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste it real quick from the manual. And this is very important. So do make sure you do this step. And you want to add this one sim object kill GE. Okay. And you want to add this to all of them. Again, up to this point, everything I've done, you want to do for every single variant. Okay. Now, here's where we start getting differences in variants. The coordinates of the actual engines and the objects are going to be different for different uh, variants because of, you know, the different sizes, etc. So first, I'm going to show you the coordinates for the 200 ER and the SF, the shorter freighter. Um, and you'll be able to see that in the top left as well. I'll put 200 ER and SF in the top left just to be super clear. OK. So. The coordinates then are for the first set here, and it's the same for all three, is 188.97. So the easiest way to do that, you can use the arrow keys, as you can see, uh, but the easiest way I've found is click here on the zero, so you get it highlighted in orange, and then just type 188.97. You don't need to click uh, the decimal point on your keyboard, it's automatic. So just click 18897 and you want to do that for all of them. Okay. So 18897 and then 18897. Okay. So that's those three done. Next, you want to add the height. Okay. So this middle one here, we can leave blank and you want to add the height here. And that's going to be 26.2. So let's do that. Exactly the same method 262. Now, make sure you don't do it over here because obviously that's going to be 262. Otherwise, you want to make sure you click on the middle one, click 262, so you get 26.2. And you're going to do that for all of them. Okay, 26.2, 26.2. Okay. And for the 200 ER and SF, that is all done. That is pretty much the extent of the installation. Okay, so now we just need to do this exactly the same uh, for the 300 ER. Uh, the freighter and the 400 ER as well. Now, as I showed you before, the first couple of steps are adding the objects and setting the shadow modes and then setting the height it data ref is going to be exactly the same for all of them. Okay, so I won't show that again, otherwise the video will be too long. 
um, but you can just rewatch the part in the video that is called for all engines and I'll show you and that will show you how to do it if you can't remember. So now the 300ER and the F uh, and the 400ER, you just need to add the coordinates in the exact same way. Okay. Um, it's just the coordinates uh, are slightly different uh, here. So the vertical coordinates are actually exactly the same for all of them. Uh, it's just these coordinates are slightly different. So what I'll do is I will do the 300ER uh, and the 400ER off camera and then I'll come back to it and show you guys. All right, so now we've done the 200ER and off camera I did the SF as well because it's exactly the same. Um, let's do the 300ER. So the initial parts are exactly the same, so I'll cut to the parts where we need to insert the coordinates. All right, so uh, here we are with the 300ER. As you can see, I've added the objects. I've set all uh, views on the shadow mode and I've added the hide it data ref as well, as I showed before. Now, we need to add the coordinates. And like I said, the vertical coordinates are the same. So they are just 26.2. So we're going to do exactly as we did before and put 26.2 in there. Okay. And now exactly the same as we did before, just slightly different numbers. We need to add the coordinates 199.5. So you can do 1995. Okay. 1995. And then 1995. And that's it. Just going to hit file, save. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the freighter off camera. It's exactly the same, the same coordinates. And then I'm going to do the 400 ER and I will be back with you then. All right. And now I've done the freighter. Finally, we want to do the 767 400 ER. So we'll open that and I'll go ahead and do those initial uh, parts where I'll add the OBJ, etc. And I will be right back to add the coordinates. All right. So here we are for the 767 400 ER. As you can see, I've added the object, set the shadow modes and added the hide data ref. Now we want to add the final uh, coordinates for this. So for the 400 ER, the first set of coordinates is 210.89. So let's do that. So 21089. 21089. And then 21089. And the height on this one is slightly different. It's 26.21. So let's do that. 26.21. And then 26.21 and 26.21. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and close that. Click file. Uh, save and understood. All right. So we are done with Plane Maker. All right. So once we've closed out of Plane Maker, um, I've just sorted my file type. Uh, by type here, so I've got all the ACFs here at the top uh, that we have just edited. Uh, Plane Maker does like to make these ACF dash files. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're just backups. You don't need them. Um, they won't do any harm, but you don't need them. So you can go ahead and delete them. Make sure it's ACF dash and just go ahead and delete those. And now you have your lovely ACFs here. Now, um, there are extras here, so you can install the alternate spinner. Okay, so you just drag this object into here um, as you, we did before. I'm not going to install it, but that's how you would install that. Uh, and then for liveries, so now you need to update your liveries uh, to be compatible with the Mango Studios 767 engine mod, and it's really, really easy. So to install the liveries then, now to be clear, what's included in this liveries folder here uh, is just the only the files needed for the actual engine mod. Okay, um, not the entire livery. So to do it, what you're gonna do is go to liveries, and as you can see, I deleted a fair amount of the default seven six seven liveries. Um, so I've only got a few left, but anyway, it's good enough to show you guys. So we'll do Delta here. Okay, so we've got a Delta Airlines. Uh, livery here and this will work doesn't matter which livery whether it's default or an external livery as long as you do this it will work just fine uh, so what you want to do is go to the livery folder go to the objects folder and then 767 
Okay, now as you can see, I've got a GE Engines folder here. That's for the uh, Carter Engine mod. Um, you might not have that. You might have it if the livery is compatible with the Carter Engine mod. Um, but anyway, that doesn't matter. All you want to do is go to liveries here. Or you can go to the CF6 liveries, uh, and there are way more liveries in here. So we'll actually, let's do Delta here. And then you can pick which spinner you want. So this will override the spinner that we installed earlier. So now if we want the alternate spinner, but only for this livery, we can do that. Okay, so I'm going to put pictures on the screen now of the alternate and the main spinner so you can decide. It is completely up to you. So I'm going to do the main spinner for now. Okay, and all you want to do, this GE CF6 engine, as you can see, you've got CF6.png. This GE CF6 engine, all you want to do is copy uh, and paste that or just drag and drop that into the 767 into the 767 folder for the uh for the livery so you can see we have 763 delta airlines objects 767 and then we have ge cf6 and that's how you do it and that's the same for any livery so that is the installation complete let's go ahead and check out the fantastic new engines in the sim all right and here we are in sunny san francisco and look at that beautiful ge cf6 engine all working really nicely uh, on our delta 767 300 er here and that all looks good to me so i hope this video helped i hope you enjoyed the engine mod if you do have any issues feel free to leave a comment in here um, or do go ahead and ask on the Mango Studios Discord. They provide fantastic support and there'll be a link to that in the description as well. So thank you very much for purchasing the engine mod. I uh, hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one.